Hello everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to my Tuesday video tutorial on MyPinkStamper.com. Today I'm actually not going to do pretty much any stamping on here. If you remember, I made these, I made this project or this card on a video previously with just different colors. So I will have that linked down in the instructions section for you if you want to learn how to make this card. But what I'm going to do is I'm using the envelope liners templates or framelits and I'm going to show you how to make coordinating envelopes and how to make it into a cute little gift set for one of your friends using the 4x6 bags, cello bags that Stampin' Up! carries and a little topper that I've already pre-stamped and the stamp set that you guys might want be interested in that I'm using the balloon set is Balloon Celebration from the Occasions 2016 catalog and then I'm using Perfect Pairings and this is one of the Celebration stamp sets that you can get for free when you spend fifty dollars from the catalog or from either of the catalogs during this promotion till March 31st so I stamped a happy birthday to you with that because I wanted something a little bit bolder since I was stamping right directly on the designer series paper so I will have the dimensions for you on these. This is 6x6 six six, and I just scored it and fold it in half and this is actually 2 and 3 quarters by 1 and 3 quarters right here. So I just did a little strip and this is basically to cover the staples when you staple it shut and I'll do that after and I've already pre-stamped the stems and I've pre-stamped and punched with the coordinating punch um, the balloon celebration coordinating punch and I'm going to add this at the very end once we're done with this. So let's go ahead and make the envelope liners. Just want to show you I've had a request. I love it when you guys email me and you send me your request. You can send them to mypinkstamper at gmail.com and I would love to teach you all that I know how to do and if I don't know how to do it just yet I will find out how for you. And I've been trying to learn these things for years so I can teach them to you. I get really excited because I learn something new and I'm like oh got to share that. And that's the first thing I do is, I'm going to do a video for that. Just because I like to, I really do like to share what I learn. All sorts of different crafts. Okay, so we're using a Big Shot here. And I'm using, like I said, the designer series paper and it coordinates with the card. So I can have them match. This card set in here has four cards, but I'm going to do three at a time. I'm going to show you how you can use your yeah, this is thinner paper, so you can go ahead and do three. Let's see if this works with three. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will on here. Did I cut Did I cut this too small? No, I didn't. It works, because I've done it before. Okay, there we go. I have it on here, and I have it on my magnetic platform. I'm going to put it in here a little bit. There we go. Put your sandwich plate on top, and you just go through. Whoops. I'm in a weird angle with my video camera. You guys know that. Put it all the way through. And that cracking noise is pretty normal. And it's okay to make that noise. <laughs> Just means that it's cutting through it. It's awesome. Okay, so, how it kind of stuck in here on my platform. All right, so it cut three out at one time. And I'm just going to use these three. And then I'm, I'll make one more. This is big enough. Actually, it's not. Okay, so I'm just going to do the three for you, and then I will do another one off screen. Because I want this to be a quick and simple video. I just want to show you the concept of it. You don't need to see me make all of it. So these are the medium Stampin' Up! Whisper White envelopes. They also come in very vanilla, and you can get them in crumb cake. Um, and I believe there are note card sizes as well. But I use the medium. This is the regular standard A2 size, and most of the cards that I make on my videos are the A2 standard size and the large framelit will fit these right here which is so cool so all I do is I put them in here it's really easy I only even use one adhesive I don't put adhesive on the whole thing I just put this in here like so put it in all the way alright and then all you need to do I fold it over first, like this, and I fold it, and then I just open it like this, and you can use your snail adhesive, or you can use your fast fuse, 
I just put a couple strips and then I fold it again. And then when I open this up, it's a cute little matching envelope. Look at that. Isn't that super cute? This has my information because I used it for our group swap. So I'll take that out before I give it in a card set to somebody. But isn't that cute? Okay, so there's one of them. And I'm going to do it with all three of these. I might just do three in this set. Normally when I give people card sets as a gift, I usually do like four. And if I, if I really like, if it's my best friend or something, I might do a set of six or eight or something. But my best friend is a stamper herself, so... She already has a lot of cards, as you guys will know. And guess what? My best friend, Carly, she's going to be here in two weeks. My birthday is on Sunday, in case you didn't already know that, because I blog about it all the time. But Carly's birthday is three days after, so we usually celebrate them together. There's um, the yellow one. And so she's coming, and we're going to do some fun stuff, and we're going to do some videos. Lately, we haven't been doing as many videos but we're going to try to do a video. I'm just going to do the three. And that we'll share it with you guys. We're also going to do some fun stuff with our Stampin' Up! Down line. That's going to be fun. Okay, so I have this one in here as well. And you really want to make sure that it's below the sticky. I didn't do that on the other two, but just kind of press it all the way down. And then you can just fold this over. Fold it over and one more. I think I did this one the best. That's why you watch my video all the way through because if I make a mistake then you see how I correct it. That's the best way to learn how to correct the mistakes. Okay, so now that one looks perfect. Alright, so what I usually do, see this one coordinates too, isn't that super cute? I love it. So we're going to do one and that is called, did I tell you the name of it? It is the Envelope Liner Framelit. And that is in the back of the regular catalog. I will have the number on the screen for you guys so you don't have any problems. Remember, it's celebration right now. Best time of the year with Stampin' Up! It really is. It truly is. Okay, so I think I will have them like this. And now I'm going to stick them in the 6x8 cellophane bag. And you can do all sorts of ways to... There's all sorts of ways to package up your gift cards. I like... To give it where they can see it when I give it to them and they're like, oh, that's so cute, you know, and I make little matching toppers. I love making, it's like making a giant goodie bag. And I'm the, I'm kind of the goodie bag queen. I think I might have earned that right. Making, you know, goodie bags for my five children up until they're in fifth grade for like every single occasion for their classes. <sighs> yes, it tires me thinking about it, but... I've loved it over the years. Okay, so I just did two staples. Now I'm going to put this Happy Birthday to You banner on using the Archival Basic Black ink pad. And then I just did the two stems right there for the balloons. And I'll go ahead and just use my Fast Fuse, and I think this might be out, so let me switch it to my Snail Adhesive. And if this one's out, I'm going to laugh. I've been doing a lot of crafting lately, and I have a lot more to do. I have some more swaps that I'm in, our team swap for next month, and then I'm also in another swap online for Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, so I'm going to be busy for a while. Lots of stamping. Okay, so now I'm using dimensionals. I'm just going to pop these balloons up. Just use like two on each of them or something. Be very liberal with your dimensionals. Is there one on my finger? Okay. Almost done. I told you it was going to be a quick video, and it's almost midnight, so... I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Alright, so I have my balloon here and then the balloon here. So it just coordinates with the cards inside. So I hope you guys, I will give you guys a better picture of this. Isn't that super cute? Wouldn't you like to get that on your birthday? Is your birthday in six days like mine? Or actually it's five days when I'll post this. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Don't forget to check back every day. I'm giving away a big shot this month on MyPinkStamper.com. If you go on there and leave a message or leave a comment, you are entered. There's You don't have to purchase anything. You can just be entered for being nice and leaving me a comment. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.
it's me again I just want to remind you guys if you're new to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button I would love to have you and I'm posting around two to three videos a week for you um, thanks again for watching bye bye